Joining us now in the studio is the Executive Director of Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Serap Adetokumbo Momuni, to discuss further on this. Thank you for joining us on it's News a on the Hour. It's a now, let's get talking. The first question I'd like to ask, what informed the need for for Serap to ask the President, his Vice, the 36 state governors and their deputies, public of his orders, to declare their assets? It is <coughs> a requirement of the law. You see, the president was elected into office for a four-year term in the first instance. Yes. That four-year term ended on the 28th of May, 2019. Another term commences on the 29th of May, 2019. Same, yes. So to now say the president is not compelled by any law to declare his asset the second time is not getting what the law says. Because, for example, if the president had gone, was not re-elected, another person would have come into his place, into his place, yes. and that person would be bound to declare his asset. So the president that has two terms of office must declare his asset at, at, at the beginning of the first term and at the end of the first term and at the beginning of the second term and at the end of the second term in 2023. Now, the, the, the president's spokesperson, Femi Adishin, has come out to say clearly, unequivocally clear that the president is not mandated or any com on any compulsion to declare his assets by any law. No, I don't understand what he's saying. Yes. It means he doesn't understand what the Code of Conduct Act says. Your term of office is for a period of four years. That has ended. You secure another term. That term begins on the 29th of May 2019 when you took another off, another out of office. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like saying the president does not have to take a new out of office. Yes. So why, because if you are saying it, it declared in 2015. Is it enshrined in a law? It is. That is and the it, law. It is more of a declaration of assets. Pub, not the other line where there is yes. publicly. You see, you see, those who crafted those laws wanted Nigerians to interrogate whatever the president has filled in, this, in the form regard, regarding his assets. Yes. It is not for fun that those, those declarations must be contained in the paper sent to the C CCB. Yes. It is good that members of the Nigerian public, for whatever reason they may choose, have access to this form or details of what is contained in the form so that they can interrogate the process. For example, the president, the president may say, I have a property at Lekki worth five billion era. The, as, the address of the property will be mentioned. Nigerians can now interrogate what the president said so that they will know the truth. It is not enough that you make a declaration. What the framers of the law wants is that Nigerians should interrogate whatever you mentioned. All right. Is there a dichotomy between what the CCB expects and what the FOI bill entails when it comes to asset declaration? No, no, no. As a matter of fact, yes. as a matter of fact, so maybe you want to throw more light on those. Good, good. Yes. What the code of conduct law says is that at the beginning of taking a, a, a public, public office, office, you should declare. And at the close of that office, which is four years yes. from the date of the first declaration, you should make a declaration. So you declare at the beginning, you declare at the end. And another time comes that you want to take, you declare at the beginning, you declare at the end. The, the end of that declaration comes in 2023. So that is the law. It is not a, uh, when the, when additional says there is no law compelling the president to declare again. So is that in consonance with the Freedom of Information Bill? No. Uh, okay. The, what the Freedom of Information Act says is that any Nigerian has a right to demand information that is contained, that is domiciled with any public institution or official. The requirement of the Freedom of Information Act was, became part of our law in 2000, um, in 2000 and, on the 28th of May, 2000 and, um, 
11. So the requirement of the 12th Amendment Act reinforces the power, the right of a citizen to make that request. Okay, I just want a moment. Let me, let me ask, is, is this more for declaration or a redeclaration or an update, an update of their assets? You see, if you had made a declaration earlier, yes. you now, if you had not acquired anything, within phrase, the given term of well, you being yes. in the office, yes. You will simply say, these are the properties that I have, nothing new. You may even say, as in the earlier declared form, because you have a form already that you have filled. So it is possible that that but to now say you don't have that there is nothing compelling the president to make a declaration the second time. Publicly. It, it, pub, mm, publicly. The law does not say publicly. Okay. He say give it to the CCB. Any Nigerian can now apply under the Freedom of Information Act from the CCB to say give us this 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 document. Okay, then that, because those are the terms, those are the words of Femi Adishina that the, that the president is not on on the mandated or under any compulsion to declare his assets publicly. No, you see, I So I, if it gets to the CCB, it's it's in tandem with what is required by the CCB. Yes. Yes. The a citizen of Nigeria can now ask the CCB to supply to make it public. To, 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 to give in. You may, you may not even make it public. Okay. A citizen may say, I want a copy of the asset declaration form of the president. Declared also so the good. It is you see the the, 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 the freedom of America does not say you should need it for a particular purpose. You may not even say the reason why you want a particular information. All right. The, the, the refusal or non-declosure of this asset by these public office holders, what, what does that, what's, that implica what, what's the implication of that? What does that imply? You see, it simply means that they want to be hiding under a finger. In a democracy, there can be no hide and seek. We are saying we are fighting, we want to check, cor we want to check corruption. So, the requirement of a fight against corruption is transparency, then accountability. You have to make it clear to the public, then we now ask you to account. If you had loaded your form, anticipated, do anticipated declaration, when well, you don't have a property earlier, yes. you now put them in there so that you now start acquiring to balance what you have declared. That is what the law does not do. So the president's spokesperson, Femi Adishina, so is he ignorant of the law that says the president is, is that it's, it's respected of him to declare his assets? I mean, that's required because he came out to write, he said he's not mandated, he's not on any compulsion to. No, it's like saying the president must make a, de a declaration of assets once. It's like saying all he needs to do is take out of office in 2015 and never Take, take another oath. I mean, in 2019, in 2019, we won't say that because the president retook it, it, it office in 2019. So a declaration must also be made in 2019. Okay, I'm going to actually before I let you go this afternoon. The declaration of assets um, publicly is it a voluntary will and not compulsory? It is not compulsory to be declared publicly. Publicly, okay. It is enough. Is if it you, voluntary? It is voluntary to declare publicly. Yes. Okay. What, I'm, what we are saying is that a citizen of Nigeria can compel the code of conduct to give him details or form that the president has failed, the governor has failed. Thank you very much, Adetokuma Mumuni, Executive Director, Sarah, for being part of PLUS um, News on the Hour on it's PLUS TV a, Africa.